um, you know, you've known for a few days this was coming. And so what am I going to work on? You know, so I'm sure that a bunch of things have been going through your head about <laughs> what to tap on. Uh, have you settled on something? <clears throat> well, right now, I think uh, I'm I'm feeling just uh, no better word, but dysregulated because my thyroid medicine has been off. Okay. For one, so physically, you know, they've been trying something new and it's not good. It's making me have like twitchy facial, facial muscle muscles. I can't even talk right now. Okay. <laughs> uh, twitchy facial muscles, insomnia again, we're well, making it. So even my sleep aid doesn't work and just feeling like agitated. And I think, um, and that's kicking up think other stuff in me even just like agitation so mm -hmm. I just want to be able to feel more focused and calm okay uh in general and I will be working on some D EMDR therapy again actually starting next week okay focusing on some more trauma work Mm -hmm. And so just talking about that during my last session a week ago, I think kind of started to pull that up, but I know we're not going to like dive into details about my trauma on this, but, um, some traumatic incidences surrounding my son. So I think like the combination of my thyroid medicine, dysregulating my nervous system, I've got this impending <laughs> doom I'm kidding it's not but knowing that I'm going to be having EMDR again which for me has really been very hard emotional work yeah a lot of, so yeah calm ease just get things to calm down I don't know how many times I can say calm calm <laughs> calm calm is the goal yeah so right now what is in the way of calm is this impending doom Mm -hmm. sleep issues mm -hmm. um, and a general feeling of just dysregulation yes okay of those three what is what rises to the top dysregulation dysregulation okay yeah okay so um how much tapping have you done do you know the points and the setup statements and and then I have just done very little. I had a friend okay. that I was close to at the time that when she was learning how to be a practitioner mm -hmm. of it, and she practiced on me quite a bit, but mm -hmm. it was in the beginning of her journey mm -hmm. and it was nothing formal. It was at my house and we'd just sit on the couch and she would run me through the things. Right. Uh, right. And then little bits here and there from you and some other EFT right. practitioners. So right. I, I've just dipped my toes. Okay. All right. One at a time. So, um, I'm going to start with a really global statement. Okay. And generally we don't tap on global statements because they're not specific enough. Okay. EFT is more like a dart, right? Rather than, you know, throwing a whole bunch of, you know, spaghetti at the wall and seeing what sticks. Mm -hmm. But I like to use a global statement because it is throwing spaghetti at the wall. And then one or two of those st strands are going to stick, right? And you'll go, okay, that's the one, right? Because awesome. I'm dysregulated is a big thing. But for you to try and like pick it apart, it's like, what is the most, you don't know right? Mm -hmm. You just, you don't, right? So, but your body does, right? So yeah. you're very good at listening to your body and picking up those signals. So it might be another feeling. It might be a thought. It might be a memory of an event. Okay. And um, so just listen for those. It might just be a sensation in your body. And then we can do something called chasing the pain. It doesn't actually have to be pain. Okay, <laughs> like fun. <laughs> it, it's one of my favorite things to do because a lot of things in our body show up as sensations. You know, when we were growing up, you know, we would have these feelings 
and someone would say, oh, you're feeling anger, right? Because we didn't know. We were just having feelings. Oh, you're tired, right? So people gave us labels for the sensations in our bodies. And so that's what we use. And sometimes now that we know more, it isn't as accurate. It's like, ah, it feels like anger, but no, I'm really sad. Right? Mm -hmm. So you can use your grown up senses and filters to reassess some of what were childish um, or childlike happened when we were children. Mm -hmm. um, label making. All right. So just, um, and if anything comes up, that's really strong, then just say, wow, that's really more than I want to deal with right now. And, and I'll show you how to sneak away from that. And we can do something different because processing and healing happens at, this is an EFT thing, um, happens at low levels of intensity. Once you've become like, Ah, and sobbing and blah, you're not processing stuff anymore. You're, you're in it. Mm -hmm. right? So it's the difference between saying, I have a memory of being in the desert, you know, like a, a soldier one time was telling one of my mentors that, you know, he was standing in her living room, but all he saw was sand because he was in the memory, right? So we don't want to get into the memories. You know, we can have very strong memories and still be here. And that's okay, um, but we don't want to go over that limit. So we want to stay well shy. So the other thing that I've been learning recently is about what we do when we test intensity. Mm -hmm. Right? Traditionally, we go, well, is it a zero or a 10? And I was just taking a class and he's like, ah, I don't like that because it gets people thinking and it takes them out of their feeling. And I was like, that is brilliant. And I love that. So if, you know, we start off with something and it's a high intensity, let's say it's an eight, we'll mm -hmm. do some general tapping without getting into anything specific to bring the intensity down if we can. Okay. But if numbers don't work for you, and they don't for a lot of people, they are like, oh, I can't figure it out. It's, like, it's just so not relevant what the number is. What's relevant is that you know yeah, that got more intense or that got less intense or that got even less intense or now it's gone. And if it gets more intense, it's okay. If it gets less intense, it's okay. It's not a measure of the process. Uh, the, the, the number or the intensity actually isn't a measure of the process. The movement is. Okay. So feelings might start off with a heaviness on the chest and then move to a tightness in the stomach or that now it's in my hip or, you know, so it can be very fluid that way. So you can just move from thing to thing to thing. And so that's why I like chasing the pain because it, because it is, it's your limbic system. It's the deepest part of you, I think, talking to you because it doesn't even have words. It's only talking to you in sensations. And that's what a feeling is. You know, we shorthand it by saying, you know, it's a feeling, but it literally is a sensation. Mm -hmm. So um, some people are really kinesthetic. Some people are very auditory. Some are visual. We process things, as you know, very differently. So I will try to adapt to your pace. Cool. And, um, you know, and I will give you lots of time in between things to process. You know, like I find like my feelings shift fast, but then the thoughts take a while. You know, is there a new thought about this? You know, um, and it might be completely different for you. And some people are like, I don't know how I know. I just know. Mm, it's that's like, me. Is it? Okay. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that's the hardest one for me to deal with because I am so kinesthetic. Yeah, I'm so kinesthetic. It's like, but your body, what does uh -huh. your body feel? Um, so, and, and because I know a little bit about your background, it might yeah. not be yet as safe as it maybe will be in the future for you mm -hmm. to actually feel things on your body. Yeah. So, um, so all of that is all to just say, just pay attention, um, 
and just feel the feelings and listen to the thoughts and anything that comes up is not irrelevant. There's no serendipity that happens here, right? If it comes up, it's related in some way, right? Doesn't have to make cognitive sense to us because our feelings don't. Our subconscious pulls things together in some way that only it understands. <laughs> and yeah. so we can't try and figure it out. If we could have figured it out, we would have by now. <laughs> <laughs> so my my first uh, psychiatrist when I was dealing with the panic attacks he came yeah you know, that was like the first words out of his of his mouth was you're very smart if you could have figured this out by now you would have and it was just like thank you <laughs> yeah yeah it, it was a great relief you know so so anyway so let's just start with this really global feeling about dysregulation and just see where it takes us. Okay. All right. So we start on the side of the hand and the setup statement is a statement of what's going on and a statement of self-acceptance. Okay. So uh, generally it's um, even though I'm feeling so dysregulated, I love and accept myself. You want me to say that? And then you repeat that. Even though I'm feeling so dysregulated, I love and accept myself. And how do you how does dysregulated feel to you? Like, what's the most top one or two things? Chaotic. I don't, okay. Which I don't like that feeling. And right. confused. Okay. So even though I'm feeling chaotic and I do not like that feeling, I love and accept myself. Even though I'm feeling chaotic and I do not like that feeling, I love and accept myself. Even though I'm feeling confused? Was that the mm -hmm. other word? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Even though I'm feeling confused, I love and accept myself. Even though I'm feeling confused, I love and accept myself. And if you were going to gauge how intense this is for you, is it like a lot? Is it a, a, a 10? Is it like just, it's strong? Mm -hmm. Do you have a, a way of? I think it's a six. So it's kind of middle-ish, but a little more okay. on the intense side. Okay. Okay. Numbers work for you. Good. So that's three times, basically two or three times through the setup statement. So even yeah. though I'm feeling all this dysregulation. Even though I'm feeling all this dysregulation. And this confusion. And this confusion. And this chaos and this chaos right here and right now i'm okay right here and right now i'm okay and i love and accept myself and i love and accept myself all right so we'll go through the points take my glasses off so the tip of the eyebrow okay <sighs> feeling dysregulated feeling dysregulated side of the eye feeling all this chaos Feeling all this chaos. Under the eye, this chaos. This chaos. This dysregulation. This dysregulation. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I really don't like it. <laughs> I really don't like it. I really don't like it. I really don't like it. So that, that quick, that's one round. Okay. So a lot of people just use those points, but because we're demonstrating for other people, I want to show the other points as well. Yeah. So, um, I, can I just, can I add something real quick? Yes. I feel like my whole body, cause I do, I am kinesthetic also, but mostly right. the just feeling, but, um, yeah. almost like chill, like goosebumps but in a good way like it feels like things in my whole body are kind of reacting so. yeah yeah good <laughs> as you know that's energy shifting yeah right? and that can be coughing sneezing sweating you know I mean just anything your nervous system is sending out signals nice so okay. the chills feel good mm -hmm. the energy yeah. okay because they, they don't always so okay I don't want to assume so on the hand so if you okay. put your hand out like this to you know so the palm okay. out yeah okay. so so here's the midline 
So on the fingers, on the side of the fingers that are toward the midline, the points are on the side of the finger at the base of the nail. Oh, okay. Right? So the thumb and then each finger. Now you can, I, I, I'm almost starting to decide that, you know, I, I'm going to teach people this way because then it's the points on the top. Right? So up by the nail. Yep. Yeah. Right? Um, okay. So you can tap like this. You can just grab. This is usually how I do it with my other hand. You can do it one-handed. I find that awkward, but um, okay. it depends on, yeah, I get down here and it feels like a strain. So um, I just, or you can just hold and squeeze. Right? Oh, okay. And so you can do that anywhere, anytime, right? If you're out at the store, you're talking to someone and you're just not feeling quite where you want to be no one's going to notice you doing that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So a lot of the points you can use just any time at all, you know, that you're feeling a little dysregulated, which we all do from time to time. And we don't always know why. Right. So I was just doing that. Right. So that is one of the points. Right. So yeah, it's so yeah. common. People do this all the time. You know, and it's a, they're very common human gestures. So it's not like, what is she doing? Right? It's like <laughs> everyone knows, oh, you know, I do that. Everyone knows that. It's yeah. not even a thought. They wouldn't even think a thought about it. So we're going to go back to our statement we're working okay. with. So thumb, feeling dysregulated. Feeling dysregulated. First finger, this chaos. This chaos. This confusion. This confusion. I really don't like it. 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 And then we throw in something completely different called the gamut process. Now, a lot of people mm -hmm. do the, the first uh, points and then the, and use the fingers. The gamut process looks very different and it is a little bit of um, NLP, Neuro Linguistic Programming. Okay. And it involves balancing the brain and it gets into the limbic system where the places that are dysregulated in our brain don't even have the words, right? Mm -hmm. So it's really deep, really deep stuff. And so, but it's really easy. Okay. Oh, okay. Yay. <laughs> right. um, so some eye movements and so, and then we finish with some humming. Some okay. counting and some humming. Nice. And I use London Bridge is Falling Down. Um, some people say use Happy Birthday because everybody knows it, but birthdays can be rather fraught. So mm. I don't like to use that one. Uh, I think London Bridge is pretty well known. So um, so you can just follow, down, fo uh, follow along. But you, you do know London Bridge. Let me just... I think I know most of it. Yes. Okay. You know, we only hum for like five seconds. Okay. So. Okay. Yes. I know the chorus. Okay. Good. Uh, see, I'm sitting here making all these assumptions, and really, all I need to do is ask you. Um, okay. So first thing. So you. This is with the head still. Okay. So you want to close your eyes, and then open your eyes, and then keeping your head still, eyes down, hard right. Okay. And then back to center and then hard down left. You can do it in the opposite order, doesn't matter. And then back to center. Now, <clears throat> what I want you to do is put your eyes up at 12. And I want you to move your eyes around so that you are covering and seeing every number along as if you were going or every spot as if you were going around a clock face. The places where our brains need to be balanced will want to skip over spots. So if you get someplace and you weren't sure that you actually saw everything like between eight and nine, you can go back. Okay. But make sure that you see every spot along the way. Now, the same thing. Are you at 12 again? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I've gone a couple times around. <laughs> okay, slow it down a little bit. Okay. So you can be really mindful 
uh, that you are seeing every place, but go in the opposite direction. Oh, okay. Yeah. The things that are scaring us in our brain want to make us go really fast. So they have a bigger chance of escaping <laughs> our attention. <laughs> yes. Okay. I can't yeah, nine and four kept wanting to escape my attention. <laughs> uh-huh, uh-huh. So the slow, the faster you go, the easier it is to not notice those things. Yeah. And then we're going to hum for five seconds, count to five, hum for five seconds, okay? Okay. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm,
both actually. Okay. So like a clump and some flutters. Okay. So like a, a clump that's like very busy, active, fluttering. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's just work with the butterflies for right now. Okay. So I like the butterflies. <laughs> All right. So uh, intensity like now currently probably just a five actually it's okay. just right in the middle okay when i was doing the tapping it, it kind of ramped up to maybe a seven mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so five. when uh, say this uh setup statement again that we started on even that i i'm experiencing a lot of dysregulation and i don't like it I'm experiencing a lot of dysregulation and I don't like it. So that was a six before. Is it less now? More now? Yeah, I think it's a, a five. Yeah, so it okay. is a little less. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So, okay. So let's do our setup statement here. Okay. Um, even though I have these purple butterflies in my, is it gut or is it stomach? gut because it feels like it's every everywhere in my midsection <laughs> okay um i love and accept myself so even though can even you though me? i have these purple butterflies in my gut okay even though i have these purple butterflies in my gut i love and accept myself i love and accept myself these purple butterflies these purple butterflies in a fluttery clump in my gut in a fluttery clump in my gut they're there they're there but they're not me they're not me but i definitely have them but i definitely have them they're a part of me they're a part of me and i love and accept myself and i love and accept myself i could have butterflies or not i could have butterflies or not but I love and accept myself. But I love and accept myself. However I am. However I am. But I could do without them. <laughs> but I could do without them. <laughs> whenever they're ready to go, whenever they, whenever they're ready to go. Whenever they're ready to go. Whenever I don't need them. Whenever I don't need them. I invite them to leave. I invite them to leave. With my thanks with my thanks and i love and accept myself and i love and accept myself all right these purple butterflies these purple butterflies how could i not love purple butterflies how could i not love purple butterflies but i don't need these purple butterflies but i don't need these purple butterflies these purple butterflies these purple butterflies and all they represent and all they represent. I invite them to leave. I invite them to leave. If I am safe for them to go. If I am safe for them to go. And I think I can be safe. I think I can be safe. All right. So this is where most people stop for most rounds. Okay. So, um, you know, if stuff is coming up, you can continue going until, you know, it feels done. Mm -hmm. But and you can stop anywhere. Okay. You don't have to start and stop at a whole round. You can just stay in one spot if that feels like your spot. Um, I like this one a lot. Mm -hmm. It's kind of one of my go tos. And this one mm -hmm. I was in class the other day, and the instructor was like, "This is my spot." I was like, <laughs> "What?" <laughs> So it can be anywhere, you know, it doesn't have Maybe. to. Okay. Yeah. Um, you know, and doing this is nice because I think you get a little bit of a nice thymus thump at the same time. Ah, and, yeah. and the points are pretty generous. If you get into the area, you'll, you'll be activating them. Okay. Okay. So precision, you know, don't worry about precision. So when you think about the anxiety and think about those butterflies in your stomach, how does that, what is happening there now? 
Well, it was a great visualization. So I was actually able to visualize them flying away. Yeah. During the tapping. And uh, yeah, I think that helped just visualizing that along with the tapping. And I'm feeling pretty, pretty good. No anxiety and that uncomfortableness, for lack of a better word, is gone. I feel comfortable again. Good, good. Yeah. So the tightness in your gut, how is that? I'm trying to think. I'm like, am I hungry now? <laughs> <laughs> um, I think it's gone. Maybe okay. a two if we're on a one to, one to 10 scale. Okay. Okay. Like, yeah. You know, it's hard to gauge sometimes because all of these bodily sensations also, as you just mentioned, have other labels on them. Yeah. Which makes it, I, I had a huge breakthrough one time when I realized that um, I thought I was having an anxiety attack, but in fact, I was actually just very excited for what was about to happen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it was like, oh, it's all the same thing, right? So our bodies only have a, a limited number of ways of signaling us with sensations. Mm -hmm. So, um, and sometimes it's like, you have to go exactly what you, am I anxious or am I happy? Am I having reflux or am I hungry? You know, mm -hmm. so, you know, it's like, I think, you, you know, with a little moment's reflection, you like, yeah, no, I think that's okay. You know, so, um, when we're tapping on things and we get down to like a level one or two, you know, we can maybe just let it ride because okay. the, I think the nervous system just needs a little bit of time to get everything sort of, you know, comfortable again, yeah. you know, and sort it, get all of its pieces sorted out. Mm -hmm. right. That makes sense. So, so good. So that went away completely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's why I like working with the, uh, the bodily sensations because they send, they tend to be very, um, very fast, you know? So I just wanted to ask a question. Did you purposely see the butter, make, make a visualization of the butterflies going away or was that happening? I think it was just happening because okay. I was focusing my my visual focus was my gut and then yeah i think it just happened i don't okay i don't have a recollection of making it happen okay the way you said it it, it sounded like uh it was sort of like i i'm going to take control of this process and mm. see them flying away <laughs> <laughs> which i like to control things so i wouldn't yes and <laughs> most of us do <laughs> Because I think very, it just happened. Yeah. So it's very scary to be out of control. Yeah. So our brains will continually uh, allow us to not see the problems. And after a while, the not seeing the problems is the problem. Mm -hmm. 